Uh, well, when I heard DSTN was coming to town, it was fantastic for the town itself because so many people from this community had to move away to find work. Now people had the option to locate and come home again. And everyone knows that when you leave Nova Scotia, you always want to come home. Well, I lived in uh, Trenton my whole life, to be honest, and uh, my whole family, a lot of my family worked here at Trenton Works, and I never really wanted to leave. I just feel lucky that I can still be here. You know, I've been on the road, you know, the last few years. Since the place closed down, I was on the road, and yeah, there's no place like home, and my kids are having kids, and, and uh, it's, uh, it's a good thing. This is a great opportunity for Nova Scotia, and in particular, Pictou County. These are great jobs, uh, this is a great company, and it's a great partnership. I think it's the greatest thing ever happened for everyone, actually. There's going to be a lot of work there, and, and there should be a lot of uh, spring-offs, too, from, uh, from that. You're looking at the uh, type of employment, or the, especially the, uh, the amount of people that they're looking to hire when that plant is up and running at full steam. Uh, for a community this small, we have 49,000 people in Pictou County, that is big news. This year we've had to hire four new people and uh, we, we're closed on Sundays, we're not open on Sundays and uh, things are looking very positive. Yeah, it's been really good for us. I don't think it's been a day go by that uh, we don't see somebody here from the planet, so it's really good. So it's great for business. There's a lot of positive attitude. People are glad to see the former entity being turned into something that's a viable operation once again, something that is current like a viable operation. I'm proud to work here. You know, there's, there's ups and downs, but hey, it's, you know, it's a startup business, and it's gonna be a big one, I think, when it does get going, so I'm, I'm here for the long haul. As a work life here at DS10, it's actually fantastic. Uh, our Korean counterparts are extremely hard workers, and they're very, very uh, attentive to quality, and I find them really enjoyable to work with, and the whole production atmosphere is, is good. It's totally new to, uh, to everybody in there. I'm, I mean, I'm on a piece of equipment that's worth a quarter million dollars, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's gonna be a challenge. Um, but it's, you know, hey, don't mind getting my hands in there, getting them wet. About the product we're making, the most exciting thing that people are excited about is that it's green energy, and we all know that green energy is the future. The Canadian government has a plan for green energy that uh, should mean that we have a lot of work over the next bunch of years. And what everybody is looking for when it comes to work is stability and this place seems like when we get it operational, it should be very stable, and that is our goal. When the Korean came and bought the plant, we felt too it was just as important to make it welcoming and inviting for all our Korean friends. I propose that we would do a, have a Korean club here at NSCC, have a better understanding of the Korean uh, culture and their foods, etc. They're um, adding a lot to our community. They're taking part in um, school activities, and it's just nice to see people from another culture here. Every day, seeing them open up more in the community, and you see someone that comes here, and they're, they're shy, they know a little bit of English, but they're afraid to use it, and now the confidence is building as they use their English. Canada is very beautiful. I came here, I was a little surprised, and. But I like here and I love here. And, yeah. I enjoy golfing and with my wife. And in the winter, we usually go to the, the ski and the ski resort and, and the shopping. Snow was a very unique experience. We were very excited the first time they got the shovel. By March, the excitement was gone. Actually, last winter made me very strong because of the shoveling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a very big yeah, impression to me. We have a rooftop patio. This will probably be the first summer for them to experience that, and for a lot of them, it's probably their first summer here, so I'm hoping they're going to really enjoy the beaches and the coastline and all that we have to offer here in Pitta County. I'd just like to say it's been like my absolute pleasure. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with the people professionally and on a personal level and look forward to the future. Well, we certainly want to welcome them here to Nova Scotia. They certainly wish them well in uh, servicing uh, the local market, but I know they're going to have a, a very competitive facility that, that's going to allow them to service other markets from uh, here using the, the quality of uh, labor and services available in Nova Scotia. I just wish them the very best, and I'm sure they'll love the country as much as we do. I'd just like to uh, congratulate for coming, congratulate them for coming to Pitta County. And, and I would say the same thing, thank you, and uh, we thank you uh, for, um, for the support. and. Uh, 
and no more floods. And they'll know what I'm talking about when, when they see that. <laughs> no more floods at the dock. I welcome them here with open arms. They're hardworking, good people, you know, and they're like, like part of us, you know. So, yeah, we, we fought for the same thing over there, and that's what they got, freedom. A young Hatheo, welcome to Pictou County. We hope that you find your visit here and your stay here to be a prosperous one for many years to come.